everybody, I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we're going to be working on this project right here. It's an apple core, as you can see. I have traced this apple core onto this piece of wood that I glued two pieces together because I didn't have anything wide enough. I wanted it to be about a half inch thick, but I ended up planing it down a little too vigorously. <laughs> so it's just, it's under a half inch. But I would suggest if this project interests you and you're going to make it, I'd say go ahead with the half inch just because I think it would be cute to have it a half inch thick. I traced this template onto the wood using my carbon paper as usual. I'm going to do a little routing to try to get this um, a little bit more interesting. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about that. But I will be routing this piece before I cut the shape out. So keep that in mind. The size of this piece is 14 inches tall by 7 inches wide. It is huge, but it is for... Um, paper towels and that seems big but you know what the inspirational piece that I took this from they are making this they made this thing 18 inches tall I'm like for real that's a little tall my paper towels are a little shorter than this and this like I said the height of this is 14 inches that's huge I'm also going to be using this doll this is 7 8 inches thick the height um, you don't have to, of course, go by this height. I'm going by this because guess what? This is all I have and I can't find anything else. And that's why I had to glue two little pieces together because I don't have it. If this is 10 and a half inches long, that's what I'm going to use. I haven't figured out the base that I will put this with. But this was what the paper towel will slide onto once we're done. But let's work on this front part first and see if we can make it cute. Okay, so I've lowered all of this by uh, one eighth of an inch or I think three millimeters. Now I'm going to lower this part and this upper part by a sixteenth of an inch. That's half the, the depth of this which of course makes this less depth than it is. Anyway what I'm trying to do is make this leaf and this stem at least right here st stick up some i always get confused about what level things should be so anyway i'm going to go back in and lower this part and this part by only a sixteenth of an inch just to give a tiny bit of raised value to the leaf and the stem <music> Okay, here is the completed apple. I do regret cutting down this top and bottom part because it took away from the indention that's here and here. It's less noticeable. If I didn't cut this top and bottom part down, this part here would be as deep as these seeds are raised. And I would like to have that, but I was trying to emphasize the leaf so really i should have cut down this top and bottom first to emphasize the leaf and then cut this middle part down the one eighth inch so that it have the full depth as these have okay but it's still fine i'm not going to worry about it so if you were going to do that keep that in mind the order of cutting it down is important <laughs> so 
Now I'm going to move on to this piece here. This is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Because I'm only using the small paper towel rolls, this five and a quarter is plenty. If you're making this project and you use double roll paper towels, you want you might want to make this block bigger, maybe up to seven by seven inches. But I'm using five and a quarter because I'm just using my little cheap rolls out here in the workshop. Now that I think about it, I should have mentioned earlier, I think this is treated wood. If you did this project, you do not want to use treated wood. Do not use treated wood for something you're going to use in your kitchen, around your food and all of that. Probably not a good idea. I'm just using it for my paper towels that I use here in the workshop. I'm going to be cutting off a corner of this block here about like this. So that the apple will sit like this against it. Now then, um, on the other three corners, I'm going to cut off like a curve. A curve. I'm going to curve the ends so that they're not pointed. And that's what I'll do. And then I'm going to glue this apple to this base and glue the stick to the middle. If I had used the full thickness of the wood, um, and if I was using this project in the kitchen, I would probably try to run a screw up from the base through through into the dowel. But I'm not. I don't think my project is that serious for use in the workshop, so I'm just going to glue it on. It's not that serious, okay? So let me move to trimming out this, and then we'll move on to painting. good at trying to do these accent shadowy whatever um, colors on a piece but I'm going to try to do a little bit on the sides here a little uh, golden sunset now I got to figure out the rest of the stuff I'm going to try to give a little bit of shadow into this I'm just not oh god I'm so nervous about it because it's just not that good all right, y'all. I tried to do a little shadowing there at the bottom. I'm not too good at it. What I did was I aggressively put, um, I aggressively dry brush black around the edges where I wanted the shadowing. And then I used more of the red to try to blend it in a little better. That's the best way I know how to do it. It's not perfect, but it is what it is, okay? I'm going to use light mocha to try to dull down these edges because they're a little too crisp with the yellow. I'm going to try dry brushing a little of this light mocha on there, which is a tan, and see if that kind of eases it up a bit. I don't want to take the yellow away completely because I really like the yellow, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to fool with this and see if I can get it to where I like it. And then we'll be ready to glue. Okay, now it's time to glue things up. I'm not going to use hot glue. I'm going to use wood glue. And all I'm going to do is just brace this against here the best I can and let it dry like that. I don't know how well this is going to work. I hope it works okay. 
I think this stick isn't going to be exactly in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about that because I want to just go ahead and glue it on here while, while I'm doing the front piece. be back when everything is dry and there we are our finished product it's all glued on I painted the back red there here's our paper towel roll it's actually um, this is a brand new roll the cheap kind it looks like it might be big enough for the kind I get that's a, like a double roll I don't know this 5x5 five five might be big enough that's for you to find out if, if you decide to make this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the project. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.